Hello everyone and welcome back to another video with On Point Politics. We are looking at an updated 2024 presidential election map after President Trump's assassination attempt as of right now. Hit the like button, subscribe if you do enjoy content like this. Guys, this is unbelievable that Donald Trump just had an assassination attempt in 2024, and this changes everything, guys. If the political indictments hadn't helped him enough, it, it, this is going to be, be unbelievable. He already leads the national average by 4.3%. I expect his polling numbers to go up after this. I expect his polling numbers to 100% go up. And I believe they're probably going to go up like two to four points, give or take, maybe even on the higher side. He may lead the aggregate by eight and possibly even win the national popular vote by 11 or 12 points as of right now. So looking at just that fact alone, guys, right now, my map, these states are the safe states from the 2020 presidential cycle. You know, clearly, you know, states like Kansas, South Carolina are added. Alaska is now added in. Nebraska's first is added in. Nebraska at large is safe. I believe that Iowa, Ohio, Florida, and Texas will all be over 20-point victories. Again, I do have a sophisticated election model for this, but I am trying to go based off of what we have as of right now. I could actually pull up the election model as of right now and trying to kind of guesstimate what we could actually get in the Electoral College here. If he does lead the national aggregate by 12 points, which would be a 16.5 percentage point shift, and if the favorability difference basically stays the same as of right now, which I wouldn't expect it to, we would see crazy results, guys, as of right now. Clearly, the model shows very insane results happening. We have the state of Wisconsin being safe in his column as of right now. We have the state of Minnesota at 4.8 percentage point margin we have nebraska second at almost a five point win the state of michigan would be a 12.7 percentage point win we have the state of pennsylvania here at 14.3 percent north carolina georgia would more than likely be in that column georgia is 11 points in this forecast arizona is likely nevada if we go to nevada as of right now it is a 15 point margin that will go in the safe republican column as of right now in the state of virginia around a two point victory would be expected new mexico the victory would just be absolutely huge as of right now in the, this election, New Hampshire would be a big victory for Donald Trump. About a couple points there. California would be in the likely Democrat column at just 10 points. Colorado is in the lean Democrat column right now. Delaware, likely. You see these states would be safe. Connecticut, likely. Rhode Island, likely. Would be in that column as of right now. Delaware would be in the likely column. New York goes under five points. New Jersey in the model would be a tilt Republican margin as of right now. Illinois flips on the model as of right now. We can see it right here. 0.2 percentage points for Donald Trump as of right now. Washington and Oregon both lean margins of victory. And Maine at large would be a historic election victory for Donald Trump at a likely margin as of right now. So based on the model, as of right now, he would be winning 380 electoral college votes even with hawaii being a tilt democrat margin for incumbent president joe biden he is forecasted to win 380 electoral college results to joe biden's 158 electoral college results guys this is not my exact prediction i believe some of the margins would be a little bit heavier but right now as of this point states like you know wisconsin michigan pennsylvania are gone for incumbent president joe biden they are no longer in reach for incumbent President Joe Biden. States like Delaware are toss-ups. New York are toss-ups. New Jersey is a toss-up. Illinois is a toss-up. I believe that Nebraska is gone at this point. As of right now, Hawaii is now a toss-up for the general election. So as of right now, I believe that the former president more than likely is going to have a starting floor of 315 electoral college votes. And the Republicans have just expanded the map after this. This is completely unbelievable. I even believe that states like New Mexico would be gone. Minnesota are probably gone. New Hampshire, even at this point, and Virginia are probably all gone for incumbent President Joe Biden. And we have a map where Donald Trump 
more than likely is going to be able to get 347 electoral college votes right out the gate. And we could see something in, a, in the magnitude of a potential possible Reagan-like landslide where Donald Trump's maximum victory could be 345. Right now, if I basically had to guess from all these states, essentially, if I had to kind of just pick and choose between these states, I would say Colorado goes red right now. I would say New York, New Jersey goes red. I'd say New Hampshire probably goes red. At this point, I think that Nebraska second would go red. I think New York probably goes red at this point in time. As of right now, I think New York would actually go red. I even think Illinois and, and, and Hawaii would probably even go red. So my gut instinct reaction to this probably tells me Donald Trump gets 342, 422 to Biden's 116. But as of right now, according to the election model, Joe Biden would be getting around 380 uh, Donald Trump would get around 380 electoral college votes to Biden's 158 electoral college votes as of right now. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want more content just like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. We will pray for President Trump and to make sure that he is okay, guys.